Hi, this is Graham Helfrich, Technical Advisor Manager for the Engineering Software here at IHS Market. Welcome to the weekly Did You Know episode where we learn how to do something of value that you probably didn't know about your IHS Market engineering software. This week's topic is about taking advantage of any PVT data that you have for your wells. Now, as engineers, we know that a direct measurement is more reliable than a calculation. For example, a measured bottom hole pressure is more reliable than doing a calculation from the surface to the bottom hole. In addition, using uh, measured PVT data is more reliable than using a PVT correlation. But in the real world, measurements cost money. So we do depend heavily on correlations, both for wellbore calculations or for fluid properties in the reservoir. But did you know that you can use Harmony Enterprise to take advantage of PVT data that you've collected? Let's check it out. So here in Harmony Enterprise, we can pick our gas or our oil and we can see the PVT and viscosity correlations that are available. We can expand this and see a range of different correlations that you can pick depending on your fluid. Now as a tip, the help file describes each correlation and the conditions it was developed for. So you can pick the correlation most appropriate for your fluid type. In fact, the help file is pretty much a textbook if you really want to get into, into all the details and descriptions of the development of each of these fluid correlations. But we're here to talk about how to apply measured PVT data. So here in Excel, I've got my measured PVT data that I got from the lab. We've got the solution GOR, the oil formation volume factor, the oil viscosity, and the bubble point. So over in Harmony Enterprise, we are going to change from a PVT correlation to a custom table. And that basically brings some inputs where we can apply those measurements. So here I'm going to uh, copy and paste the pressure in the RSO. So again, copying my custom PVT data, hitting paste. Next I'm going to get my uh, formation volume factor numbers. Copy, paste, Okay, next I'm going to enter my bubble point pressure, which is 3,000 pounds. Now you notice once I do that, it actually takes the formation volume factor and it kind of separates it uh, to saturated and then the unsaturated table over on the right. So we see that at the bubble point pressure, it basically copies all the values above that pressure and applies them over here in my undersaturated table automatically. Okay, so what about the viscosity? Let's try that as well. So again, instead of picking a correlation, I'm going to pick custom table. Go back to my lab data for PVT, copy the viscosity, hit paste, and there we go. So to visualize this, uh, we can just click the plot view and now we're seeing uh, the shape of all that custom data that we've applied and that this will be used when we do any of our RTA analysis from uh, type curves, flowing material balance, all the way into the models, including the numerical model. Uh, now this is uh, totally applicable for uh, gas as well. Um, now one thing a lot of people want to do is say, how, which correlation is most similar to the measured PVT data. The way we can quickly check that is pick a correlation and in the background you can choose if you want to visualize the custom data that you imported against the correlations shape. So you can try different correlations and again see how they compare to your custom data. And that's it. So what does this really mean for you? Well, if you've been struggling to get a history match uh, using a PVT correlation, 
your measured PVT data, it may be the solution. And like I said, a measurement is always more reliable than a calculation. So uh, when you take advantage of the money that you spent on that measured PVT data with Harmony, you're going to get a more reliable estimate of your volumes, your permeability, your fracture descriptions, plus you'll get a more reliable forecast from your RTA model. Secondly, if you're currently using PVT data, but you're spending time passing it around between different programs to try to get value from it, now you know how you can do this work in your Harmony software. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For any questions, please be sure to contact me and be sure to subscribe to be notified of next week's Did You Know episode.